everyone and welcome back to Clever Patch Craftinoons. Today we are going to be playing with slime. Now slime is a great holiday craft um, because not only is it fun making the slime but then you get to keep the slime and you can play with it day after day all throughout the holidays. So the slime that we're going to make today um, only really has two ingredients. So you might have seen some recipes online and some of them can get a bit complicated. But what we have here is the Elmer's Magical Liquid. And this is what makes our slime making so easy. So basically all we're going to need is the Elmer's Liquid and our clear craft gum glue. Um, we will be adding to our slime just to make it a bit more fun. You can always use this and end up with a clear slime, which is fine. But what we will be doing today is I'll take you through a few different ways of adding colours to your slime and also adding a bit of sparkle, um, some collage materials, things like that. So, what you're going to need for today's craft is a bowl for mixing. We're going to be using just a plastic craft bowl. Um, you may want to use something a little bigger depending on how much you're making. Um, you're going to need a spoon. You'll need your Elmer's Magical Liquid and your glue. And a jar or a Ziploc bag for um, storing your slime in. Alright, I think that's it. Let's get started. Okay, so first you want to get out your craft bowl or whatever um, bowl you're using to mix your slime in. Now let's take a look at the magical liquid. As I mentioned, this slime is great as it's a two ingredient slime. So on the side of the magical liquid, you'll notice there is some measurements down the side. So basically, it makes it really easy for mixing the slime. It suggests that you use a quarter of a cup of the magical liquid to a four to six ounce bottle of the glue. So in terms of mils, that's around 118 to 177 mils of glue for every quarter of a cup. Now, as we mix this in, we'll be mixing it in nice and slow. So you may not need that full quarter of a cup. Um, it's just a guideline. So let's start with our glue. I'm going to be making just a, a quarter cup amount of slime. But if you are making more than that, just use the measurements provided on the side of the bottle. So... It's an estimate of how much glue we'll need. Now before we start um, adding our magical liquid, we want to add in our colours or our glitter and collage materials into the glue first. So for this one, I will just add in some um, liquid watercolour. So we will colour the glue with the liquid watercolour. Now you're only going to need a small amount. Um, the liquid watercolour goes a long way so we just pop that into the glue and make sure it's mixed in thoroughly. If you were going to add glitter to your slime or sequins or wiggle eyes, now is the time where you would add those things in as well. So just always remember to add your bits and pieces to the slime into the glue first before adding in that magical liquid. So make sure your colours all worked through the glue, it's all nice and even. And now we can start adding the magical liquid. So as I mentioned, we're going to add this slowly a little bit at a time and you will see that the magical liquid starts activating the glue very quickly. So all we need to do is get right around the edges and make sure it mixes all the way through the glue. 
Now, depending on how much magical liquid you add to your glue is going to determine what sort of slime you end up with at the end consistency wise. That's why we like to add just a little bit at a time because it gives you a lot more control over the outcome of your slime. So you might want your slime to be quite thick and quite a chunky slime I guess. Um, it also makes it less sticky and that would be if you added in lots of the magical liquid. On the other side of that if you added in less magical liquid you'd end up with a stickier more slimy gooey kind of a slime. So just keep mixing the magical liquid through. As you can see still quite sticky so I might add a little bit more in. And once your slime starts coming together you can even start to get your hands in there and get a bit messy. So it's always an easier way to knead through the magical liquid into your slime. So if you just get your hands in there, get a bit dirty and you can start kneading it through the slime. Oh, it's nice and gooey. So just work it through. You'll notice it might stick a bit to your hands, but that's easy for it to come off as well. Make sure you get all the glue from out of the bowl. knead it through. So this is a nice smooth consistency but it's also on the thicker side so I guess you can trade off the stickiness of the slime to the smoothness. It might have a bit less stretch when you've used more magical liquid might be a bit harder to stretch, I should say. And that's basically how you make slime using the magical liquid and glue. I've got a few other versions here with me. So here's one that I made earlier and what I used to colour this one was actually tempera powder paint. So I didn't need much powder paint to color this one. You can see I've used a lot less of the magical liquid in making this one. It's very elastic and gooey and oozy. But again, it's a little bit sticky, but not too bad. So the powder paint has actually made this one, I guess, more of an opaque kind of a slime colour, which is a nice effect as well. Another version I made was this one here. So this one I can, you can see I've added wiggle eyes to. Um, when you are using collage materials such as wiggle eyes or sequins, um, just be careful they can come out. They find their way out a bit easier than say the small tiny pieces of glitter that you might use. Um, also be careful when choosing your sequins as if you're using stars or something like that. They can be quite sharp. So just think about what you're after before you add it into your slime. The third version of slime I made was a glitter slime. So this one was made colouring it with the liquid watercolour and then adding in lots of red glitter. Again, 
This one probably used even less of the magical liquid than before and is still quite sticky and nice and gooey for lots of good stretches and sliminess. So think about what you want out of your slime, get creative, try experimenting with different ways of colouring and different additions and then you can mix your slime up and have lots of fun. Once you finish making your slime and you finish playing with your slime, um, it's best to store it in an airtight container. So whether this be a plastic jar or a Ziploc bag, either of those will work. So if you put it in a Ziploc bag, you could even create um, sensory bags for younger children who you might not want them to get the slime out because they'll put it in their mouths and things like that. So Ziploc bags can be really good um, for the younger children to be able to play and feel the slime without it getting everywhere. If you're storing your slime in a jar, you can build on your craft activity and maybe decorate your jar as well. So with Halloween coming up, I decided to decorate my jars in Halloween theme. And again, slime works super well with that theme. So we have a jack-o'-lantern, a bat and a Dracula. All you need to do is take some paper, cut it up and glue it onto your jars. And then you have your very own slime jar personalized and decorated by you. I hope you've enjoyed playing with your slime and if you'd like to share with us um, any slime jars that you come up with we'd love to see them. So make sure you jump on the socials, send us some pictures and until next time happy crafting!